most who observe the biblical feast days are following the modern Jewish calendar, which is based upon modern technology and knowledge of the equinoxes, moon phases, etc. The modern method usually starts the first month before the known equinox. The ancient method, however, started their first month after the equinox or turn was observed. And this usually puts the ancient calendar one month behind the modern calendar. We observe the ancient calendar because two very important events occurred on this calendar. The most important event was the sign described in Revelation 12, which occurred on the ancient date of trumpets in the year 2012. I've explained in other videos how we know this celestial occurrence in 2012 was the true sign and not some other more popular date. That sign was extremely important and will not happen again for another 500 years. And again, it occurred on the exact appointed time of trumpets that year using this ancient method, not on the modern calendar. The second confirmation that this ancient method is correct was the solar eclipse in 2017 that occurred on Jesus' true birthday. There's a video linked here that explains that in detail. It was an amazing event that no one knows about. The solar eclipse landed on the exact date representing Jesus' birth last year. So please, if you go watch that video, watch part two as well, because it shows that it wasn't just a window of time. It was one day that lined up perfectly. And considering the level of complexity in both the scriptures and the celestial movements, there's no way that was coincidence. So please, I beg you to watch that and study it to understand. It's complex, so most people won't. But if you do, you will see how amazing that was. And again, that solar eclipse on the exact date of Jesus' birth occurred on the ancient calendar using this method, not the modern calendar. So those two events, the celestial sign in 2012 on the ancient appointed time of trumpets and the solar eclipse in 2017 on Jesus' birthday, are confirmations that this is the calendar that was used in ancient times. And using that calendar, the appointed time of trumpets in 2018 will occur on the window of October 9th through the 11th in the Northern Hemisphere, and that will be the first day of the first month in the Southern Hemisphere. And then atonement in the Northern Hemisphere will occur on the window of October 17th through the 19th. Passover and unleavened bread in the Southern Hemisphere will occur on the window of October 22nd through the 29th, and tabernacles will occur in the Northern Hemisphere on the window of October 23rd through the 31st. For more information on the ancient calendar and or the recent biblical prophecy fulfillments, please see the playlist linked here. Thank you so much to those who have been supporting this work. For the past month, I have not been able to access the internet. I'm hoping that's going to change. I've been tethering with my phone, which has very little data. And so that's why I've been able to sporadically get a short video up here and there. But hopefully that will change and I'll be back having full internet, hopefully by next week. So I just want to let you guys know that. Thank you so much to those who have continued to support this work. We've been moving a lot for the past six months and it's been really difficult. So I'm hoping that will all change in the next couple of weeks here. So I hope you are doing well and I will hopefully talk to you next week.